As you have seen so far, we were able to use Cololab only in combination with cameras that are shooting log and wide gamut color spaces in order to be able to create looks. But certainly it is going to happen to you that sometimes, you know, you might be shooting with camera that doesn't really work in log. Or maybe, you know, you might be working with a footage that already has been converted to the Rec. 709. So here is a tip how to work in those situations. So first import the Rec. 709 clip that you have downloaded from our test footage. Go to your uh, timelines inside the edit right mouse click and say create new timeline and call it rec 709 okay and we're gonna say create fantastic then I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna import the rec 709 clip onto my timeline fantastic and I'm gonna go into color alt s for creating another serial node and then from color intelligence I'm gonna copy color lab plugin there we go now, what we need to do is this. You go into input profile and you select display. The reason why we are calling the setting display is because in our internal terminology, this color space is what we call a display color space. So this is basically a color space where we operate, where we normally view material. So now we have a display color space selected. And then what you could do is you could then be able to go and select, I don't know, S1, or then you could go and say, oh, I want to maybe apply a Kodak look like 23, um, you know, 2393, or like, let's say, 400T. And, you know, I would be able to turn my otherwise, you know, completely like a Rec. 709 footage into something that looks more filmic and still be able to preserve the quality of an image so you can see like you know there is no crashing problems and no other issues with the shot so it's working perfectly well like this so i would use this anytime you basically find yourself in a similar situation however for the best results you should still use footage that is in log and that is in a wide gamut what we are doing here is we are really just trying to use the power of color lab to expand you know color information but in reality that color information is not there we are just trying to fill in the gaps so you are certainly always going to get better looks using log and wide gamut this is just a kind of escape method when you have to match some archive footage or do something with it as a way for you still to be able to manipulate this type of footage as well